We're digging deeper into an embezzlement case involving a local church, a Gaston County church at the center of a suspected embezzlement case, and it involves hundreds of thousands of dollars. This man right here, Jordan Shortridge, is accused of misusing that money for nearly five years. It's a story getting a lot of attention right now on WBTV.com. And the question tonight, how common is this type of crime? WBTV's Brandon Hamilton has been digging into that, looking for answers for us. Brandon, what'd you find? Well, Jamie, digging into those stats, I learned that billions of dollars are stolen each year from churches across the world. Now, I also talked to an expert on this type of crime. Jamie, he tells me there is a reason why. Embezzlement and the church, two words you wouldn't think would be in the same sentence. Dr. Todd Johnson Here, with Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary says don't be surprised. There's a level of trust in, in a particular group, like in a Christian community, um, and then that trust is taken advantage of by, by an opportunist. Dallas Police Department says Jordan Shortridge embezzled over $470,000 from the Dallas Church of God between 2018 and 2023. He was arrested earlier this month. Police say an audit in 2021 and a later investigation found discrepancies, unknown withdrawals, and payments made through PayPal. It's unknown what Shortridge role was at the church, but according to the church's website, the pastor shares his same last name. The propensity to sin, which is human, plus, uh, you know, like a not not a, a careful uh, financial um, uh, process that that's the that's what I think leads to this Johnson who authored a post on this type of crime says churches can take preventative steps more internal financial audits monitoring employees and volunteers along with knowing who has access to the money across the world Johnson says studies have shown billions of dollars are stolen each year so every hundred dollars given six dollars is is uh, stolen by trusted uh, secretaries and financial people and pastors and pastors' grandsons and, you know, anybody who has access. And tonight we've made calls to the church multiple times, but no answer. A Facebook page belonging to the church also appears to have been taken down. Now, as far as Jordan Shortridge, he is charged with felony arsony. A court date is set for January the 2nd. Reporting live in Gaston County, Brandon Hamilton, WBTV on your side. A case will continue to follow. Uh, Brandon, thank you for that. Let's talk weather.